so happy to be here today. My name is Angela Petrilli. I am here with my friends at Fishman for a new episode of the live stream guitar lesson show called The Riff Rundown. I am your host, Angela Petrilli. Today's episode is pre-recorded, but don't worry, we're still going to have a lot of fun today. So get your electric guitar. I happen to have a Strat here with my Fishman Fluence pickups. Get your electric guitar in standard tuning. We're gonna be learning Brass and Pocket by the Pretenders, a really fun song here. Some really cool chords, really cool palm muting stuff. Um, again, a very beginner, intermediate friendly tune. Lots and lots of fun, lots of groove with this song too, which is really, really great. So again, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click that thumbs up, that like button. It sure does help the cause. And again, if you want to find out more about all the cool Fishman gear, including the Fluence pickups that I've got in my American Deluxe Strat, you can check out the link in the description below. So those of you who have been watching this, you know that I like to ask a question before we get started. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your dream electric guitar. If money were no object and you can own any electric guitar, I want to know. So put it in the comments. Let all your friends know in the comments what your dream electric guitar is and get your electric guitar in a standard tuning. And here we go. Here is Brass in Pocket by The Pretenders. <laughs> There's the tune. We're going to be learning all of the parts today. Again, a very fun one. And as always, if you need to check out more riff rundowns, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That helps the cause. So here we go. So here is the intro for Brass and Pocket. Again, we're in standard tuning here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our first two fingers here. We're going to place our first finger. It's going to be on C sharp at the sixth fret of the G string. So it should sound like this. Okay. And then we're gonna get our second finger here. We're gonna go ahead and place that on the seventh fret of the D string. So that is an A. So right here, we have beautiful thirds of an A chord. We have an A and a C sharp. Now what we're gonna do here, and I'm gonna go ahead and play this, is we're gonna hammer on with our third finger on the seventh fret of the G string. So that will sound like this. I want you to go ahead and strum and then hammer on with that third finger. See that? I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Just one stroke there. And we're gonna strum all of those strings, D string, G string, B string, and E string. Hear that? Pretty cool, right? From there, we're gonna do an upstroke. And then from there, release that hammer on. Let's go ahead and do that nice and slowly here again. And again. Let's give it a little speed. Too. We want to ha make sure that our wrist has a little bit of wiggle here. 
And notice how I got that low A string in there. Kind of cool too, because again, we got the thirds of an A chord. So if you happen to catch that low A string, it's okay. Just like that, okay? So not too bad there, right? Really cool way to play an A sus4 chord. Good way to open things. All right, so that's the intro there. So pretty simple, straightforward. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into the verse. So the verse has four distinct little parts here. Or five rather. The fifth part we've already learned. So those are the iconic parts that we hear in the verse. And at the end of the verse, we hear that that intro chord, that A sus4. We get that at the end of the verses. All right, but let's talk about how to play the beginning of the verses, right? So what I'd like you to do here, this is how I like to play it when I play it live. First finger, third finger, okay? Place your first finger here on the ninth fret of that G string, okay? It's gonna be an E note. You're gonna get your third finger now, placing that on the 11th fret of the D string, that is a C sharp. That's what they sound like, okay? On their own when we play them together, beautiful dyad. We're gonna downward strike this dyad three times. Now, as you can tell, I've got a touch of reverb and a touch of delay. I'm going through a Fender Princeton 65 reissue with an Alnico speaker today. Those of you gearheads who wanna know, that's the amp I'm going through today. So we're gonna strike this three times. Just like that. Now we wanna be very, very precise with this. We don't want these to ring. We do not want this. We don't want that. Now, how I get that to sound nice and together, right? Very to the point. After I strike, I lightly press on those strings with this part of my hand to kind of deaden it. I'm getting a little bit of the reverb tail, that's okay. Just like that. Okay? Now what we're gonna do here, first finger across the ninth fret of the D string and G string, respectively. Okay, so those notes, we've got the B on the ninth fret of the D string, and we have an E on the ninth fret of the G string. Okay, beautiful fourths there. Okay, so we've got. Starting to hear it, and we're only gonna strike that one time. Let's do that again. Now the next part here, right? That was pretty simple, straightforward. Let's go to the next part. We're gonna get our first finger now, placing that across the seventh fret of the D string and G string respectively. Just those two notes. We have an A that's on the seventh fret of that D string. And we have a D that's on the seventh fret, the G string. Again, we have fourths there. And we're gonna strike this three times in the same way, three times, but after each downstroke, lightly, lightly tap on the strings with that part of your hand. Just like that. And then we're gonna resolve there. First finger, sixth fret of that G string. That's our C sharp. We're gonna remain on the A there, seventh fret D string. Strike it one time. So here's the whole section. Play along with me. Let's do that again. Nice and slow. faster here. Let's do that again. And again. One 
one more time. Okay, pretty simple, right? So after that section, what we're gonna do here is what we did in the intro. Right, with that really cool A sus four to A, we're gonna go ahead and do that four times, okay, that part. go straight back into that verse. So let's go ahead and do this two more times. One. Two. Intro chord. stuff, right? So that's what's happening there. Not too bad, right? Let us know in the comments. And again, this is pre-recorded for today, but when I'm back, I'm going to read through these comments. So let me know how everybody's doing. All right. So that's what's happening there. Intro versus covered. Done within the first 11 minutes. Okay, great. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and look at the pre-chorus. I'm going to go ahead and play it. I'll talk it through. It's only two parts. Okay. So that sounds like this. So we're going to do here, we already know the <laughs> first part of that pre-chorus, we see it in the verse, right? So what we do there, again, as a reminder, first finger, third finger, third finger on the 11th fret of the D string, that's our C sharp, first finger, ninth fret of the G string, that's an E. We're going to strike that three times, back to that B and E dyad. Now from here, this is a really cool, I could call it an E sus four. Beautiful chord. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna place our first finger. Okay, this is new. It might be a little bit of a stretch for some of you, but again, it's really, really, it's a good one to play. So first finger across the ninth fret of the D string and G string. Okay, we're maintaining that B and E note there. We're going to get our fourth finger, okay? I want you to place that on the 12th fret of the A string. So that's what that should sound like. A, B, and E. Pretty chord, isn't it? I'll try to move my third and fourth, or my third and second finger so you can see that. Just like that, okay? Now what we're going to do here is then bring that A note, make it a G sharp, placing the third finger on the G sharp, 11th fret of the A string. Okay, really cool inversion of this E chord. We have a third on top. And then we have the five, and then we have the one. Okay. So just like that. So. Try to move my third, my second and third finger so you can see that. So we strike that one, that chord, three times. And then the E over G sharp once. Okay, just like that. All right, so let's go through that entire pre chorus. Nice and slow. Again, and one more time, okay, so just like that. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and play all three parts in context. Again, if you're enjoying these lessons, I encourage you, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. It does help the cause. If you want to check out these really cool fluence pickups from my friends at Fishman, I've got a link in the video description. 
you could check out all the cool gear that I use in these lessons. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and play it from the top. Intro, a verse, and a pre-chorus. Then after that, we'll go ahead and get to the chorus. So here we go. Verse. One more time. Ah, one more time. Pre-chorus. Let's do that two more times. Last time. Those are the first three parts within the first 16 minutes. Done. Awesome. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the chorus. Now, if we listen back to the original tune, you're going to see that there's a lot of multi-tracked guitars. There's lots of, lots of cool guitar layers. This is great. I'm going to highlight one of them today that's kind of finger-picked-ish, kind of hybrid-picked, actually. Um, I was watching some live versions, and I was watching James like, kind of play some of these parts, and... Really cool chords, the really, really cool chords. I'm gonna show you how to do them too. So the chorus here sounds like this. This is the chorus I'm gonna teach you today. Love the tremolo on this amp. Awesome. Oh, okay. Just had to say that. All right. So the chords that we're going to be dealing with here on the chorus, it's going to be an A, a G major 7 to a D over F sharp to a D over E. Okay. So let's first go ahead and look at this A chord. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play it like this. So here's how I'm doing that. As far as the chord goes, I like to play my A chord with my second, third, and fourth finger. Second finger goes on the second fret of the D string, which is E. Third finger goes on the second fret of the G string. That's an A note. And then your fourth finger is a C sharp, second fret of the B string. Now, with my pick, I am playing the A string. With my middle finger, I'm doing a bit of hybrid picking here, right, where you use a pick and your fingers to, to, to play the chord. I'm getting my middle finger here and playing the B string. I am flicking it upward ever so slightly. Okay, just like that. My pick is playing the rest of the string. So I've got A string, B string with my middle finger, pick on the G string, pick on the D string, middle finger B string, Pick on the G string, pick on the D string, and then middle finger plays that B string. Okay, so if I play that nice and slowly without the commentary, that sounds like this. Have a look at my, my picking hand. Here we go. time. So that's what's happening there. That is the picking pattern for all of these chords that we're going to see coming up, okay? So that's the A. And each of these chords is going to get two measures now, or two bars rather. So now what we're going to do here so we're gonna go ahead and play a G major seven. Okay, so that's gonna sound and look like this. Really cool chord here. So what do we have is our fourth finger, third finger, third finger. Place it on the fourth fret of that D string. That's an F sharp that we're gonna have in the bass here. Okay, 
fourth finger goes on the fourth fret of the G string. That is our B note. We're going to get our third finger here playing D, third fret of the B string. And then we're going to get our first finger F sharp right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do here, pick on the D string, middle finger strikes the F sharp, the high E string, pick plays the B string, pick plays the G string. So. That is our pattern. Let's go ahead and play that nice and slowly. Here we go. Keep in mind, when we're listening to this song, pay special attention to how the bass player is playing along to these chords. Very, very cool bass playing on this song. Listen to it. You'll really appreciate uh, just the beautiful, beautiful bass playing on this song. All right, so let's go ahead and do those first two chords. A. Nice and slow here. to our G major seven. Let's do that one more time. A to G major seven. We're going to go ahead and go to a D over F sharp. I want you to keep your third finger where it is on that fourth fret of the D string. Okay. That's where our F sharp lives. Okay. All we're going to do, release the fourth finger. We are not going to need it right now. Okay. Bring your first finger across the second fret of the G, B, and high E string. Leave your second finger where it is. So have a listen to this. If I were to lift this, it might be a little easier to see. See how we're playing all the same notes, the D, F sharp, and A of a D chord? We're just playing it with our first finger across as like a little mini bar, okay? So what we're gonna do here, same exact picking pattern, pick on the F sharp, fourth fret of that D string. Middle finger plays the high E. Pick plays the B string. Pick plays the G string. Middle finger plays the high E, okay? Let's do that nice and slowly. This is now the D over F sharp. Here we go. So that's that chord. Go ahead and put it in context. Let's play with the first three. A, G major seven to the D over F sharp. With a G major seven to the D over F sharp, do your best to use that third finger and that second finger as pivot points, okay? So here we go from A. And we're taking this slow. Push the speed just a little faster. Here we go. One more 
more time for good luck. Here we go, a little faster. Now from here, we're gonna play D over E. So check it out. We've got this D chord that we're playing in this way. So check this out. This is where like fretboard knowledge like so comes in handy. This is great. If we think about it, isn't that an E note on the second fret of the D string? So what you could do here is you can just extend this first finger to strike the E note on top of that D chord. Isn't that great? It's right there. Instead of having to play the low E, which could you do? Absolutely. But this one's a little closer. And all you have to do is literally move your finger up ever so slightly. So I encourage you to do that. So what we're going to do here, same exact picking pattern, pick on the D string, middle finger on the B string, or sorry, middle finger on the high E string for live folks. Okay. Pick on the B string, pick on the G string, middle finger, pluck the high E string. That's it. All right, nice and slowly here. Let's look at this D over E. So here we go. Okay, so just like that. Let's go ahead and put these four chords together and folks, we are done. Such a great tune. Again, if you're enjoying these lessons, I encourage you, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It absolutely helps the cause. If you wanna, a lot of people ask, Angela, how can I support you in these lessons? Check out my online store. It's on my website at angelapatrullimusic.com. You can buy a shirt. I've got sweaters and, 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 and tats and, and mugs and all that good stuff. It does help the cause for indie musicians like me, so you can go ahead and check that out. I've also got a new EP out called The Voices. You can stream that everywhere you stream your music. And if you'd like to support, you could buy it on Bandcamp too. All right. So I'd appreciate that. So thank you all so much. All right. So let's go ahead, play through this chorus and let's do this. A, G major seven, D over F sharp, D over E. Again, let me know how everybody's doing here. Hope you guys are having fun. Here we go from the top. that again. And guess what? From there, verse. After that verse, we go into a pre-chorus. Okay, from there we go into another chorus. From there, another pre-chorus. And then from there, we go ahead and we have like another chorusy thing that happens. And then another verse riff. And then from there, that intro line out. <laughs> that doesn't go like that. <laughs> so the intro line again, I was doing a nice Elvis slide into there. Did that on purpose. <laughs> so again, that intro line, first finger on the sixth fret of the G string and your second finger on the seventh fret of that D string. Okay, so just like that. Again, hope you enjoyed this lesson. I had a blast teaching this one. Again, I want to thank my friends at Fishman for helping me do these week after week. Again, wishing you all so much success in your musical journey. Have fun with this one. This is a great, 